Hi, this is Wiley Sharp with Denison Yachting. Today I want to take you for a quick video walkthrough on board Shenanigan, a four cabin, four head Fountain Peugeot Bahia 46 located here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Boat's a really, really nice boat, new electronics, replaced standing rigging, uh, very, very well maintained. Definitely one of the better Bahia 46s I've ever stepped aboard. I'm going to have the pricing and full spec sheet in the description down below. Let's go ahead and take a jump on board. Okay, we're gonna begin our tour here on the Starboard Sugar Scoops on board Shenanigans, a Fountain Peugeot Bahia 46. Through here, we've got the first of two mechanical spaces that house the Yanmar 3GM diesels with sail drives. We've got the cockpit here, but we're gonna circle back around to that. I will point out it has an aftermarket frame for the Bimini um, over the cockpit, which is far more substantial than the uh, factory uh, Bimini top. So it is a soft top, as you can see. Although if you did want to convert it to a hard top, it would be um, fairly straightforward because the structure is already there. Making our way forward. One thing I'll point out as well is this boat is equipped with rectangular hatches. A lot of the Fountain Peugeots in this era had those round uh, go eat hatches or however you pronounce that and uh, I personally think the um, The square hatches the Lumar hatches not only give you better ventilation, but they're a lot more serviceable as well You'll see up forward. We've got a uh, vinyl coated trampoline similar to what you find on a lot of the South African cats uh, Which I think is a lot more comfortable for when you're laying down on the deck Do a quick pano here through the uh, foredeck so we've got a double rigger mat, double spreader mast. You can see the uh, Garmin uh, radar there. All the electronics were replaced in the last few years, as well as the uh, standing rigging. Through here, we've got the first, uh, I'm sorry, we've got a large lazarette with the chain locker. We've got a four peak over to the port side, as well as a four peak here on the starboard side for storage. Yeah, this generation of uh, Fountain Peugeot was really built to be a, uh, a true sailing boat. And the Bahia 46 is a great boat when it comes to overall sailing performance. Give you another quick pano through here. Boat's definitely nice and clean and, uh, and does show well. Over here on the port side, we've got the uh, swim ladder, a couple of steps that brings you up. We've got access to the emergency helm. And then through here, we've got the second mechanical space, which houses the second Yanmar diesel, as well as the Northern Lights generator, which has only got about 2,000 hours on it. Step brings us down into the cockpit, and it's a really, really nice, large U-shaped cockpit. Really, really well protected. With a nice table outside for alfresco dining, as well as cockpit cushions. And you do have storage not only under there, but under the floor as well. They replaced the uh, factory helm seat at some point. I'm not sure if it was the current seller or the previous owner with this more comfortable, um, I guess we'll call it like a, a bolster style helm seat, but far more comfortable than the factory setup. You can see here we've got all Garmin electronics, uh, current generation equipment, which is really, really nice and really good visibility from the helm, not just facing forward, but also facing aft, making it a really, really boat, easy boat for not only sail handling, but close quarter maneuvering. We've got two inches over here to starboard, as well as two inches over there to port. Really well thought out cockpit on board the boat. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the, inside the boat. Okay, making our way into the salon, we've got a really, really nice U-shaped settee forward with plenty of storage beneath. A lot of natural light coming into the space. Over on the starboard side, we've got a nice U-shaped galley. Boat's equipped with a top loader, something you don't see in most uh, catamarans these days, but definitely uh, not just a lot of volume for storage, uh, but a... Um, very, very efficient means of keeping things cold. Really nice workable galley. I'll kind of step out of it so you guys can see it a little bit better. 
but uh, it is a U-shaped galley, so cooking underway is definitely a um, is uh, definitely a plus on this boat. Over on the starboard side aft, we've got the 110 panel, so you've got all the air conditioning controls, you've got the Xantrax controller, the remote start for the generator, and uh, everything on the AC power side. Um, the air conditionings on this boat have all been replaced recently and uh, in general everything on the electrical side has been replaced and pretty well updated. Over here on the starboard side, I'm sorry, on the port side, we've got the 12 volt distribution panel with uh, fuel, I'm sorry, um, fuel gauge, volt regulate, or volt meters, and then the water gauge, and then all of the breakers for the 12 volt system as well as the VHF radio. We're going to go ahead and take a look down the port side first and then we'll make our way over to the starboard side. So port aft, we've got the first of four guest cabins on this boat, all in really good condition. We've got the uh, head here on the outboard side. Now one nice thing that these owners did on the boat is they've lived aboard full time for the last seven years and they kind of converted this port side into a really, really nice uh, wardrobe storage area. So they've got plenty of storage here on the outboard side for hanging clothes, that sort of thing. Got, oh, camera's going a little crazy. Storage on the inboard side as well. Just a lot of storage on the boat. It's really well set up for living aboard. Nice berth forward. And then we've got the, um, the uh, second guest head on board the boat. Kind of give you a quick pan out through the salon here. I'm gonna make our way down the starboard companion way. We've got our third guest stateroom, which mirrors the um, port aft stateroom, as well as the head. And then we've got storage on the inboard side. Uh, not quite hanging storage like you've got on the port side, but still good storage. And then we've got a really nice top-loading freezer here, as well as plenty of bottle storage up top, or you could use that for you know, any kind of storage, really, for that matter. Making our way starboard forward, we get to the fourth and final guest stateroom on board Shenanigans. You can see all the wood in general. I mean, it's in really good shape. A lot of these Bahia 46s were not that well taken care of. They were in bare boat charter. And uh, this boat, I mean, all the woodwork on it shows really well, and uh, you can just tell the boat's been very well taken care of. And then we've got the final guest state, I'm sorry, the final guest head here on the starboard forward corner of the boat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video walkthrough on board Shenanigans, Fountain Peugeot Bahia 46. I'll have the full spec sheet and pricing in the description down below. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, shoot me an email, and as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks, and have a good day.